Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the beautiful world of Cookie Craft. What the flip was that? Wait, what's wrong with my voice? I woke up today and I chose Batman's voice. Okay, no, seriously. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys could leave a like, I I'll, I'll throw a punch myself to see if I can fix it. Okay, leave a like in three seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, um, no, no, I think that might have made it worse. Okay, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, um, I'll try it again. All right, here we go in three, two, one. <laughs> okay, what the flip, dude? There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at beckbrojack.co. Well, at least my voice is fixed. Um, welcome back to Cookie Craft. Why are anvils falling out of the sky? This is gonna be like the first time that I didn't actually die in the intro. What the flip is going on? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are picking off this episode directly from the last episode. You guys have been asking me to do more Cookie Craft and I've been listening. So we're gonna try to do this series as much as possible. If you guys do have suggestions of what you want me to do in the episodes, leave a comment down below. Uh, Wolfie, little, little time baby wolf, I don't have a name for you quite yet. Next episode we will but I just want to make sure you don't get hit by an anvil. Supposedly, they're raining from the sky. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taming one of the last dragon species that is wild and tameable on Cookie Craft. It is called a dragon fruit drake, and it's very similar, actually, to my overworld drakes. I don't believe they're as big and vicious as Yoshi, Lil Cookie, um, and, uh, hey, what you doing in here? Also, wait a second, I swear, there was another dragon in here. Oh my gosh, they're on top of each other. There's a Emerald. Yoshi, just, uh, can you get rid of this, please? Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that was weird. As I was saying, the new dragon species we're taming today is the same dragon type. It's a drake, just like these guys, but I believe they're a little bit less strong. They do look fantastic, though. I'll show you guys when we find them later. How do I get out of here? Hey, can you move your butt? Thank you. Before we do go out and find one of those guys, let's go check on our little puppy farm. Yeah, as you can see, the puppies are multiplying like crazy. The problem is, though, I still don't have a way to get, like, infinite bones. But in a future episode, I think I have some ideas. But in the meantime, we're going to grab as many apples as I can physically carry. Looks like we have 10 in here. We have a stack in here, an extra two. Because dragon fruit drinks love to eat fruits, especially apples. The only issue we may run into today is that, unlike most other dragon species, um, I can only tame a dragon fruit drake when it's a baby. And they only spawn in very rare jungle biomes, which I haven't found quite yet, so I'm not entirely sure where to even look. But once we do tame this, I believe this will be the last tameable dragon species that I can get. Now, there are a few other species that I believe I can bring back, I just don't know if I can tame them. There's like this random desert dragon called a lesser desert worm, and then there's also a coin dragon which I can use to actually trade and get cooler things and items from the mod. Eventually, I'll probably make a little enclosure for those two dragon species. I forgot to mention this earlier, by the way, that we are running a massive sale over on my merch site, beckbrojack.co. Uh, to celebrate the new year, oh my gosh, we have uh, alpine dragons. Uh, yeah, to, to celebrate the new year, um, if you use code 2021 at checkout, you will get 21% off up until the end of January. All right, I really wish I had a bumblebee with me. These are, are yeah, one of the coolest dragon species, and I really want the blue one. Eventually, I want to get two of every type of dragon, a male and a female, so that I can breed them together, and we can just get infinite dragons. But for the time being, these guys are off limits, because I don't have a bumblebee. Is there any bumblebee willing to sacrifice? Sacrifice themselves. Oh my gosh, we have little dragon dogs too. Oh um, my, and they just left. They are so majestical that I want one. I mean, I already have one, but I want more. I was just flying a little bit more and a boss popped up at the top of my screen called a Kraken. I've honestly never even realized that there was a Kraken in my world. Um, it looks like we have some more silver gliders down there, which is great. It looks like they're about to get eaten by this thing right there, which it, I'm guessing is the Kraken. Bro, what the heck is this? Do I go closer? Okay, um, well, I'll mark the this down so we're at a negative 1800 1400 um yeah this this is the kraken i honestly had no idea this was only in my world and it has 300 health sky really wants to fight it and i feel like that's a terrible idea maybe i just do like a little wing attack okay nope 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 we're gonna stay away from that thing if this video can hit 
1,000 likes, I'll come back in a future episode and try to fight it. It has 300 health and it's a Kraken, so I feel like it's probably not my best idea, but I'll do it if you guys really want to see it. I still haven't found a jungle yet, but there are these weird creatures that they have like flaming skulls. It's called an Empusa. I feel like I should fight it. But at the same time, Sky is not very aggressive and probably does not do that much damage with her wing attacks. Oh, wait a second. Okay, if I can hit the Empusa up into the sky, it actually does do a lot of fall damage. Get away from me, spider! Oh, no. Oh, we got Cyclopses. The Empusa only has one more health left, but the Cyclops is right underneath my tail. Okay, there we go. It's down. Um, it dropped nothing? Get away from me. Okay, I'm out. I'm out of here. It's starting to turn daytime, and thank the lord dude look at this we're surrounded by vampires i'm getting out of here as fast as possible we need to find this jungle i think we have a ruined portal over here these things sometimes have some good loot oh my god get away from it you bad people let us go okay there we go oh cool okay so we have some champs cubes we have some obsidian a pretty good axe and also a shovel Ooh. oh flip we got ourselves the jungle i was actually about to stop recording and take a nap but we did it where am i dude I traveled like thousands of blocks and I finally actually found one. This is sick. Okay, now for the bigger moment of truth, we need to see if there is a dragon fruit drake. Luckily for me, they enjoy taking lots of naps like myself. So I feel like we can get along. We should probably explore on foot away from these weird robot creatures. There is a waypoint tower over here as well. So maybe this can give me a good vantage point. Hello, anybody down there? Do we have dragons? Dragons? Hello? They shouldn't be too difficult to spot. Most of them as adults are bright red. So I'm pretty sure they would stand out in all this green. But I'm not seeing anything. So let's get out uh, Aiden, the silver slicer, so we can kind of just glide around. Dranimo! Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Okay, let's go to tree to tree. It looks like there are like jungle people as well that live here. I don't want to engage. So far, still absolutely nothing. Let's fly over in this direction. This seems to be a pretty large jungle, so there has to be at least one baby dragon fruit drake. That's what I keep telling myself anyways, because I traveled a long ways to get here. Still nothing. Don't lose hope, Jack, and also don't break your legs. Let's go this way. This is actually a really great way to travel, especially because uh, this dragon isn't massive, so it doesn't really get in my vision too much. Now, I might need to get on the surface floor to find one of these. Considering they make nests in the bushes of the forest and the jungle, uh, uh, yeah, they're probably way down here. The sound effects in the jungle are actually sweet. I'm liking it. Now, I'm sure when it turns nighttime, I'm not going to like it, but I'm pretty hopeful that we'll find it before nighttime falls. Hello, sir. I come in peace. My name is Peck Bro Jack, and I like cookies. You don't seem very friendly. Why don't you seem friendly? Hey, dude, back your face up. I don't want problems. I'm gonna have to engage. Okay, this guy actually seems to be stuck on the bamboo. This is perfect. No, he's got backup. Stop it. Hey, 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 hey. Back it up. Back it up. I will use my iron club, and I will give you concussion. Get concussed, boy. Do not even start it, bird person. You know how this ends every single darn time. Oh, my gosh. That dude hits like a truck. One down. If I use the Great King So, it actually has looting, so... I should get some extra drops. Let's see, I got Ender Golem Horns, which I can make a really cool sword out of. Are you hiding all of the dragon fruit drakes in here? Hey, what is this? Is this another waystone? It is. Hello. Oh, well, how are you guys doing? Oh, you guys have some cool trades. But unfortunately, no dragons. The search continues. Adventure is out there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just saw something move. Hold on. Is it, um, do you guys see anything? I swear I just saw something move. Hold on. It, it wasn't red though. And it wasn't a bird person. Um, yeah, I still, wait a second. I swear. You guys saw something move, right? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I hear something. Wait, something's taking damage. Damage. Is it down here? Whoa! I got one! And it's a baby too! That's why I couldn't see it! It's so green! I don't know where the parents are. They, uh, they could be down in this hole, but this guy is a baby, and it loves apples. I actually found- I, It's- it's mine! It's mine! It's a done deal! This thing is so cool looking! It looks like a baby dinosaur! Okay, um, next order of business. We have the dragon soul crystal. Let's go ahead and bring you home. There might be more nearby, so let's just kind of have a look around. Um, let's make sure to stay high up in the forest, because- Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are probably the parents. They're extremely hostile creatures, and it's turning nighttime, luckily for me, so they should stay asleep. Now, I am curious, can I tame these? From what I research, I cannot tame the adults, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave them be. They have no idea that I maybe stole a, a child. I adopted him, and he's mine. Um... It's starting to get really dark and scary out here, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's about that time uh, where I should use my waystone. Okay, here we go. Um, just, uh, jungle 
boy, yeah. <laughs> okay, done. And, uh, yeah, just take me back home. Take me back. No, I don't want to go to Cookie Castle. I want to go to, uh, wait, wait, where, where? Cookie Crib. Cookie Crib. There we did. We, we flippin' did it. Straight to bed. I hate when it's nighttime, especially in Cookie Craft, because there are so many things that want to kill me. Ah, the beautiful sound of Christmas morning in Cookie Craft. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another dog. <laughs> this is amazing. And this is the non-modded one. This is the one without any rats on it. The Wolfinator is working amazingly, and all the wolves are full grown. I cannot not say the same for our baby dragon fruit drake look at this thing it's so tiny okay let's use the dragon staff on it and see if there's any extra stats um so it is indeed a female and it only has seven health total it's so tiny it almost looks like the uh the overworld drake's like little cousin but eventually it will get bigger and as it does get bigger its colors will change to i believe be bright red like its parents it also has a super cool ability which i don't want to spoil um in the next episode it should be fully grown so i can show you guys for the time being i'll put it in with its long lost cousins the other drakes um just have a seat for now that is going to wrap it up for today's episode ladies and gentlemen i think we officially have tamed every dragon species on cookie craft so far that's tameable now i do want to eventually add more dragon mods in the future if you have any suggestions please go ahead and leave a comment down below there are still two other dragon species that i can still make like exhibits for them there's a coin dragon and a lesser desert worm and then after that i think i have all the dragons from worm roost this was a ton of fun though i hope you guys did enjoy my name is beck bro jack the master in chief of dragons and i will see you guys all back again here very soon for a brand new episode of cookie crab peace out those